So ladies and gentlemen, welcome here to the channel. I'm your host, the HOD of the BSB, and we're coming with some transfer talk, really, um, about Bayern Munich. They've been linked later on with Pau Torres, a defender from Villarreal, for a move to the Bavarian club in uh, the remaining days of the January transfer window or in the summer, depending on how the situation would go um, with, the, um, with the club. Um, obviously, I'm going to be talking just a bit about my opinion in this deal, and if it goes through, um, what is going to be the situation with that deal? Uh, will it happen? Won't? Um, will it happen, or would it happen? Really? How good is it? Is that deal actually? And do Bayern actually need um, Pau Torres in their ranks? Now, obviously, this comes on the back of Karl Heinz Rummenigge being clearly interested in Deut Opomakano and being very adamant. Um, that he would, you know, want to sign uh, the player. Um, he said some comments that Julian Nagelsmann, the coach of RB Leipzig, took as quite incendiary. The fact that he said Dirk Pomacano is a player with the club until the summer. He's still with Leipzig until the summer, which insinuates that Bayern are quite ready to, um, you know, to snatch the player from RB Leipzig. Julian Nagelsmann didn't take kind to those uh, words. But enough from that. Uh, before anything, of course, like, share, comment on this video. What do you think of this deal, really, for Pau Torres? Is it good? Is it bad? Um, if you're new, please consider subscribing to the channel and enable notifications to receive all the possible updates uh, of the episodes of the podcast and other content on the channel. Um, Pau Torres, uh, as a defender, I really impressed with him. I watch Villarreal occasionally, and I think he's a great defender. Like he's a traditional defender, built as a centre half. Of course, he has the towering presence of a centre half. He reads the ball really well. His movement, his his passing range for a centre half is really really good. Which you know, considering that someone like Zöller in Bayern Munich isn't exactly that great when it comes to to passing range. When it comes to you know being good um, with the ball at his feet. So I think for a change, it would be nice really to have a centre-half who would be good on the ball. And of course, Pau Torres is supposedly going to be replacing David Alaba now. Is it a good deal? Or is he better than Upamecano as an option? I think yes. He is, I mean, he might be. Um, he, he's decent. I mean, he's not focused on as much as Upamecano is because uh, Upamecano is sought after from English clubs, and we know that English media would like to hype up players that the English clubs are interested in. Certainly United, Liverpool, Chelsea, all have been in the race to sign him. Man City, I think at some point, were interested in him before uh, buying Ruben Diaz, but that didn't uh, didn't happen. Now, um, I mean, because there is a lack of centre-halves in Spain, that, that's the reality of things. There is a lack of centre-halves in Spain. You look across the big board, you look across the big clubs in Spain, you look at Real Madrid, they don't have, you know, they only have Ramos pretty much and Nacho as, uh, you know, as Spanish centre-halves in the first team. They have, you know, Varane and Edi Militao, um, French Varane and Edi Militao, Brazilian. Uh, you look at Atletico Madrid, they have Jimenez from Uruguay, Savage. There is a lack of centre-halves in Spain. That's why Pau Torres is a prime option for centre-half partnership alongside Sergio Ramos at the moment in the national team of Spain. You look as well at Barcelona, there is Umtiti, Longley from French, uh, from France, sorry. Uh, Araujo is Uruguayan. Um, you know, there's only there was only PK, and now uh, going through the ranks of that club, uh, Oscar uh, Mingueza. You look at you know Valencia. You look at Sevilla, uh, Diego Carlos and Jules Conde. You look at uh, Valencia, as you mentioned, Diacabe. Gabriel Paulista is Uruguayan. Diacabe is um, French. So it's not exactly a plethora of Spanish centre halves to choose from. So that's why. He is the prime option to go to when partnering, partnering with Sergio Ramos in the Spanish national team. Again, is he good? He is good. And for a side like Villarreal, they're doing well this season. And he's a part of that. He's part of why Villarreal are doing so good. Because he is a, a very good defender. Now, is he worth it? I think he is. Um, his release clause would be around maybe 40 to 45 million euros. Similar, something similar to Upamecano. But will Bayern go for it? I guess if they don't get Upamecano in the summer, they might go for him. And again, it's all in the thought of replacing David Alaba, so he would be partnering with Jérôme Borting and Nicolas Zulli if Borting doesn't leave, which looks, you know, up in the air at the moment. Is he leaving or not leaving? It's unknown at the moment. Um, 
you know, he could form a good partnership with Boating. Again, he could be a decent defender, really. He is quick uh, comparatively to other defenders that Bayern have. Again, Söhler in particular. Um, you know, um, he's the kind of defender, again, built to be a, you know, traditional kind of towering um, centre half. Um, why why should Bayern um, sign with him? Obviously because Bayern need defenders, clearly, with Alaba leaving there's going to be a huge gap left because Alaba is not just about the fact that he's a, a centre-half, he can play in a variety of positions as well. You, can, you need to have a defender that can fill in for Alaba as a centre-half quite well because you're going to be losing him in other positions. You cannot use him as, as uh, a left-back now, you cannot use him as a centre-mid, which Alaba was used for sometimes. So it has to be, um, you know, a very, very well-targeted replacement if you're talking about Alaba. And Pau Torres, I think, is one of the decent defenders out there that could that buy and could buy and could go for for a quite cheap price, I think, of 40 to 50 million euros, you know, considering the COVID situation will be pretty expensive and that would require a lot of resources from buying. But going from Pau Torres isn't going to be exactly the losing deal um, that some would paint it at. Um, in my opinion, really, I I would go for him if, if I wasn't the buying board, and certainly he would be a winning deal uh, all um, altogether. Now, again, this is built on the hypothesis that um, Upa Meccano is not going to be in buying, and that deal is still up in the air, just as um, boarding staying in the club is up in the air, so could Upa Meccano be in buying in the summer? Yes and no. I mean, yes, because Bayern are in the prime position to take him. No, because Julian Nagelsmann will be quite adamant to keep the player, to keep the player um, satisfied in the club. He looks satisfied in Leipzig, really. Um, unless Bayern come up with an offer that they can't refuse, I don't think Meccano is leaving. So Pau Torres makes sense as a deal more often than not, and it looks pretty likely that uh, Bayern would go after him if the deal uh, for Upper Meccano uh, fails uh, to give uh, to give fruits. And that's all I really have to chime in with my two cents on this again. Um, maybe we're going to be talking about that um, more in later videos, in later um, podcast episodes. Hopefully, again, like, share, comment on this video what you think actually of this deal, subscribe to the channel, enable notifications to receive all the updates uh, from uh, this uh, kind of transfer news talk and the other content on this channel, including the podcast episodes and all of that. Uh, comment on this video, follow us on social media, I'm at SidePSP on Twitter, page SidePod on Instagram, and until the next time, I'll be seeing you soon. Goodbye.